Welcome back to Brushing Up on Algebra. Uh, this uh, video is going to be about going to be about canceling common factors and rational expressions. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because this is another common mistake. I'm going to start out with the mistake. So let's say I have 2x plus x squared over x squared. So the common mistake that I see is the way that you cancel. So uh, the common mistake is, oh, here's an x squared, and here's an x squared. Remember, this is the wrong way. So I'd say, okay, so these two cancel out, and I end up with just 2x. So this is most definitely the wrong way, because you don't cancel uh, factors. I'm sorry, I got the, oops, didn't mean to do that. You don't cancel um, terms, you cancel factors. See, what I did here is I had a term here. I, th we're adding this x squared, and so I decided to cancel that way. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. You need to cancel factors. Instead, here's the same problem, doing it the right way. So this is technically still example one, so I number these off, but uh, it doesn't matter. So first thing I want to do is factor this out as much as I can. And I have a common factor of, uh, of x, so I have 2 plus x over x squared. So now I have one x here and two x's down here. I can cancel one of them and I'll have just one left here. So I'll have two plus x over x. And this is the correct way to cancel. So remember that what I did here was I canceled the factor. It needs to be a factor of the entire thing. So that's what's important. It can't just be a factor of one of the terms. It has to be a factor of the entire numerator. So cancel everything first and then, sorry, factor everything first and then cancel the factors. So now here's a new, a new example, one that I'm going to go ahead and just do this. Uh, I'm not going to do the wrong way again. Uh, I'll just go ahead and factor this out. We have x squared plus x. That cancels, sorry, factors to x times x plus 1. And down here in the numerator, I have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So I want two numbers that multiply to make 1 and add to make 2. Well, that's just going to be x plus 1 times x plus 1. But I'm going to go ahead and simplify this to x plus 1 squared. Now, everything is as factored as, as it can be. So we go ahead and cancel common factors. And we have 1x plus 1 up here and 2 down here. So we're going to get rid of uh, everything that's common to both. And when we cancel out one of these x plus 1s, we'll still have 1 left. And we won't have anything left in the numerator. Anything from the x plus 1, I mean. Uh, we still have the x left in the numerator. OK, now I want to go ahead and go into why it works the way that it does. And I'm going to go ahead and use this example again. Um, let's see if I have enough room to do this. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in its factored form. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, write this out not using the exponent. In this particular case, I'm going to. So this can be rewritten I'm up, up here in the upper right corner. Go ahead and write how you uh, multiply fractions. So I have a over b times c over d. That's a times c over b times d. So I can go in the reverse direction and say that this is equal to x over x plus 1 times x plus 1 over x plus 1. Well, this piece right here is the same thing as 1. So I'm going to go ahead and write this as x equals x plus 1 times 1. Well, that's just going to be the same thing as x over x plus 1. So I wanted to go ahead and write out the, the way that it works. Um, but you would generally just go straight from here to here. So remember that you're canceling factors, not terms. Uh, so and this. This is why you cancel factors instead of terms. All right, that concludes this video. I'll see you in the next one.